Hi and welcome back to Kolsky RC. So today we're going to have a look at the Top Sky Prime 2 FPV goggles. These have been sent to, to review by Banggood. So let's see what you get inside the box. So you get an instruction manual. It's brief but it does tell you all the stuff you need to know. A bit of foam, two antennas. Well, the goggles. A USB cable to charge the internal battery, which I'll explain to you in a minute, and a microfiber cloth. So that's all you get in the box. So these are the goggles themselves. So as you can see, well you can't see, that's how I'm probably seeing, they come in a red colour. I don't believe you can buy them in other colours, they're just red and black. And they're a bit kind of caught between a goggle goggle as well as glass and a box goggle there's something in between they feel quite comfortable on your head this could do with being a bit better so there's your, your two lenses there you've got two IPDs at the bottom so you can adjust them in and out now on these goggles you also have diopters and they supposedly go from zero to five uh, minus um, I'm not sure they do because there's not enough movement because the distance in here for the cartridge if you look at the size of the goggle there's no way that that because all it's doing is moving the screen backwards and forwards obviously and there's not enough room in here so if it does do five I'd be surprised you struggle to focus on it if you wear reading glasses or something like that these won't be for you because I need reading glasses and I can just about do but I, don't, I wear quite low strength ones and I can just about do it focus on it and this is the same with all these type of goggles to be honest so on the top of the goggles you've got a search button you've got band and channel these are 40 the i think the 48 channel diversity is this so it has got diversity receivers and i can vouch for that they've took it in bits which i'll explain to you in a minute and they've had a look inside and they are actually true diversity and receivers on the other side you've got a dvr control a record button a playback button for the dvr and your power switch under these as we've already discussed you've got uh, diopter controls and IPDs it says use both hands to adjust the diopters and that's because it goes back as one unit there's two lenses there but they're in one cartridge so it'll go sorry uh, two screens but it'll go back as one cartridge so if you were to do one on one side it'll put it on an angle so you need to make sure you do that you've got a USB port underneath there and you can turn the RX on and off with that switch so if you turn these on and you've got no display it's because probably that's turned off and there you've got an AV in and a headphone jack so there are quite a lot of stuff on here you have a battery no, I'm not taking that off because it's virtually impossible to get it off you have to use a screw actually the screwdriver to get inside there it has a battery inside here it's a 2000 milliamp hour 5 volt and it says it can be replaced but I don't think you'd find one to fit it you're probably gonna have to put a smaller battery in because it's a very strange looking battery that's in there and then it has a plate on the front that simply clips on and off and the reason it clips on and off is because obviously if you want to take them in bits which you may have to do at some point um, that'll explain why here is the SD card holder similar to Fat Sharks so the reason I took mine in bits is that SD the uh, holder for the SD card wasn't situated correctly so when I put the SD card in it fell inside the goggles so I had to strip it and I had to go right back to the fact that I took this cartridge out that was inside here to get the SD card out so hence why I've had mine in bits the strap came on mine and it's simply a loop strap goes over your head and obviously you don't need a battery holder because these things have a battery built into them so these are very much on the budget end of the market so these are not the highest quality screens you're going to see but they do have a 76 degree field of view the, it is quite big is the um, the screen inside the screens I can't remember what resolution it is so let me just have a look 480 by 320 so yeah you're probably right it's not that high resolution but these are a budget goggle I think they're 64 quid at the time I'm doing this so they are a budget goggle you get di you get these antennas I'd get rid of them straight away I did use them I've used them because I did a quick couple of flights with this and I've got a little bit I've recorded like a minute of DVR but it's just outside so you can see what the DVR looks like DVR is not bad it says it's 720p 
and it does look like it's 720p but it's only 2 megabits per second so the quality is not really probably representative of even the goggles. The goggles look better than the DVR you know, that you're going to see. So you have a long press power button on here. I'll turn them on because you might well be able to see something on these ones through the camera. So you can probably see that. So let's just turn on a quad. Let's put the sail fly on. There you go, I've got it on the same channel as I fly on. So well, if you can see very well in there, let's see if I can get that closer to the lens. So there you go. So that's the image you get. I'm sorry that it's not the best, but it's probably the best I can get it. So you can see the image itself isn't bad at all. You can adjust your colours and everything because you have a... Let's get that back in there again. Green glare's a bit well, isn't it? So you've got a menu button inside here. Let's look at that one. There you go. Should be able to see that. No, probably not actually. It's too much glare. They're not the easiest thing to show. There you go. So you can see that it's very typical kind of thing. It's not anything different than you would have seen before. I think all goggles use a similar type of thing, but you can see that. So, what do I think to them? So, they are a budget goggle. Don't get me wrong, they're a budget goggle. Uh, they don't weigh too much and they don't feel too bad on your head. They're not like wearing a pair of fat sharks or anything like that, obviously, or I'm with. So I've watched a couple of reviews on this prior to me reviewing it and prior to it getting here, because I knew they were coming. And um, the reviews were all quite similar. Well, the two I thought were quite similar, saying they were a great budget goggle and everything. But no one mentioned the bit that really would put me off these, and that is the fact that this plastic is luminescent. In other words, you can see through it. I don't think you can probably tell here, but see if I can get it in the light, see if you can see my finger through the back of it. No, I'm not in the right light. It's luminescent. So when I flew these in the sun, all I was getting was a horrible orange glow round the screen because, I don't know, you put, I think we can see that there. You can see, my, if you look at my finger, you can see it behind the plastic, the shadow behind the plastic. The problem is when the sun comes out, that comes in. So all I was getting a, a red and glow here. When it wasn't sunny, they weren't too bad, but you want, what you're trying to do is kill the light on these things and the light leakage is massive. If this was black it'd probably help it, no end. But because it's red, what you're getting is this orangey red glow around the screen. And that to me would put me off using them. But these are a budget goggle and that would be easy to sort, wouldn't it? Because I usually put a back gaffer tape on the back of there. And if you look at my finger now, that's all you need to do to stop that happening. A bit of gaffer tape around there. And you'd probably sort it, but remember these do go in and out. So if you don't want bothered about that and you fix them, that would be the easiest thing to do to them. So I don't hate them, but they're not the best goggles I've ever used. And there's others that are bound in this kind of price range that are probably as good, if not better. I didn't have the ones, but I've seen the videos on the one and the the version ones and the videos I've seen the version ones that probably people had. I don't think to have on these though. So. They're definitely a step forward in the right direction, but why they made that like that, I do not know. That needs to be addressed. And like I say, I'll probably fly, actually I'll probably fly this, I'll put some tape on here and I'll let you know in another video. I'll probably do a video on, uh, I've got a few new quads coming. Uh, I'll do a video on them and I'll like, tell you in, update you in that, but they're a budget goggle. They do the job and if you get, first one to get into the hobby, you're probably great with these. But the one thing I would definitely do is put some tape on there and replace these antennas because you're not gonna get great range on these things. But it is true diversity. So, thanks ever so much for watching and have a fantastic day.
thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up